Right, in this video, I'm gonna talk about masking balloons and other lettering objects inside the panel borders. And there's a couple reasons to do this. Uh, the first is if you have a lot of lettering to fit in a tight space, like in this panel here, it's a way to avoid covering any more art than you absolutely have to. And secondly, by keeping the objects contained within the panel, you make each panel feel like it's a distinct moment in time. Now, adding a mask is really easy in Procreate. Go to our layers here. This is the balloon here. I'm gonna click on the balloon and add a mask. And basically anything white in the mask is going to be revealed and anything that's black is going to be obscured. So I wanna go up to my colors here and I wanna make sure I have absolute black selected there. Then I'm gonna to go to the selection tool and I've got it set to rectangle and color fill. And I'm gonna draw a rectangle in black over the part of the balloon I wanna get rid of. So basically just up to the edge of the panel border there. And when I let go, it's masked the balloon inside the panel. And if we wanna get a little bit fancier, we can actually mask this balloon behind an object in the foreground, which is the sword above her head. So let's zoom in here. We've got our layer mask selected. We've got our black ink. And I'm just gonna go here and just draw over the area that I wanna remove. And if I go a little too far, oops, just switch to white, draw back in the area that I wanna reveal. So the mask isn't actually erasing the balloon. It's just hiding or revealing based on whether you draw in black or white. There we go. So not only does the mask help bring the foreground object forward and closer to us, it actually makes the balloon look like it's a little more connected to the speaker by being on the same plane that she's on. 